So this is effectively just an extended review session. Pretty much. With some games that we think are good for you in different ways. gaming in the ways, time yeah. of COVID. So the first one is a game we've been playing a lot of lately, which is Marvel Champions. Marvel Champions is a living card game from Fantasy Flight Games, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in which it's a cooperative game. All of the players play Marvel superheroes, like Spider-Man or Iron Man or Captain Marvel. And you team up to fight supervillains like Ultron or the Green Goblin. And if you're like everyone else on the planet who loves Marvel right now, (laughs) this is a pretty engaging theme. But the reason why it's on our recommended list, apart from the fact that it's a very simple, fun game you can pick up and learn and play very quickly and easily, is the sheer amount of free content that is available online for this game. The community creators have had an absolute field day making content for this game. and We've played some of the uh, custom levels. We've just been playing some of the custom levels. We have played uh, the Big Wheel, (laughs) everyone's favourite Spider-Man villain. We purposefully played him because, like, I was like, who the heck is this dumb character I've never I think he shows up in, like, one comic back in the day, and then I think he showed up once again since then. Right, right. With his uh, hench people, the Wall, <laughs> and Lady Stiltman. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> but it was actually a really solid level. It was really fun. It was really challenging. Uh, it was really well designed. Mm, mm. So you can get custom levels to play against, custom villains. You can get custom heroes to play with. If you're one of the people who loves the X Men, who Marvel have not put in the game yet and probably won't be adding for a long time. Mm, mm. All of the X-Men have got print-and-play decks nice. made by the fans online. So you can be Wolverine, Storm, Iceman, Professor X, whoever you want. And if you had access to a printer and a whole lot of paper and ink, <laughs> you could print out... Basically, you wouldn't even need to buy the core set. You just right. need to check the rules. You could play this for free. Sweet. Just with fan content. Well, the official, free-ish, because you need Yeah, paper the and cost ink. of the ink and the paper is going to be pretty considerable. And also, you probably need to have, like, card sleeves for your proxies. Probably. And probably yeah. a stash of, like, magic cards or similar as your backing for your proxies. Okay, so it's not entirely free. And also, if you're playing it, you probably should pick up the core set for all of the tokens and the rules and also to... Um, yeah, throw a bone to the license makers and the game designers. But virtually free. But that said, there is a ridiculous amount of content for this game that you can find very easily, download, print out. It's Also, it's a good single-player game. It works well single-player, up to four players at the moment. So People that... have made like achievements and stuff for it. Yep. So that's our first recommendation for gaming in the time of COVID. The Marvel I... Champions. The thing I really like about it is um, having come off of... Coming off of one of the last major living card games that Final... Not Final Fantasy. <laughs> Fantasy Flight. Uh, Fantasy Flight did uh, Lord of the Rings, which mm. is sort of wrapping up now, right? Yes, it's yeah. just released its last pack. They haven't officially cancelled it yet. Right. Well, so coming off of that, I think that fans of that, that like enjoyed its complexity and stuff, mm. they'll still find it enough, especially in the custom material, to play around with. But... It's friendly enough for newcomers to the whole it's living card game It's a much thing. simpler game. And the deck construction is also very good for this one. Mm. Uh, effectively, what you do is you just take your hero. They've got some cards that you have to include in your deck, which represent the things that they do. So Spider-Man spins webs. And then you pick one of four different colours, basically. Uh, aggression, protection, leadership, or justice. And just mix those cards in. So very simple deck building, very simple gameplay. But lots of strategic decisions on a turn by turn basis about what you do play and what you don't play. It's a yeah, good game. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a pity that not all of the heroes are created equal. Highly recommend Iron Man. Doctor Strange. Yeah, I only ever play Iron Man now. I, I mean, yeah, that is the sad part about it. Is yeah, not everyone's been equal. Don't play She Hulk. It does. She Hulk is cool. But yeah, that was Marvel Champions. <laughs>